So let's say, for example, you have acne and you've tried everything. You did the healthy version of the ketogenic diet. You're doing fasting right now, but still it's not clearing up this acne. And if you haven't tried those two things, that would probably work about 90% of the time. And I put a link down below of exactly what to do. But I want to give you a little understanding of what's behind acne. And it has to do with two main hormones, primarily a spike in androgens or a spike in estrogen or a combination of both. So let's go through this one by one. Stress induces a spike of cortisol and cortisol can increase androgens. And so stress is one factor. And so if it is stress, you probably are going to know it and you're just going to have to do something about the stress. There are a lot of things you can take. There's a lot of things you can do to reduce stress. Okay, so the next thing is that your testosterone in your body is being converted into a more powerful form of estrogen called DHT, and that can definitely trigger acne. There's a certain enzyme that causes this conversion, and low progesterone can allow this conversion to take place, but normal or higher levels of progesterone can inhibit that enzyme. And this is why certain people, when they take progesterone, get rid of their acne. Now, what causes estrogen to be lowered in the body? Usually it's an increase in testosterone. Now, I'm going to come back to estrogen in a, in a minute, but first let's talk about how to inhibit this enzyme that's making this conversion. You can take sol palmetto, which has been known to help acne. You can also take stinging nettle root, which is a good remedy, or black cohosh. All right, now let's switch gears to estrogen. And we're talking about estrogen dominance. This is where you would see cystic acne, but it could be other types of acne as well. Now, we just got done talking about the enzyme that allows the conversion of testosterone to DHT. Now let's talk about another enzyme that converts testosterone to estrogen. It's called aromatase. So there are various natural remedies to take to lower that enzyme. Stinging nettle root is a good one. And the reason I like that one is because it can also reduce the other enzyme that's causing that conversion to that powerful form of testosterone DHT. So you can kill two birds with one stone and as a side note, stinging nettle root is a very powerful anti-inflammatory. So if you have back pain, it's, a, it's something that's really powerful. The second inhibitor of this enzyme is cruciferous vegetables. Okay, so start consuming more of those. And there's also something called DIM, which is a concentrated phytonutrient in the cruciferous vegetables that you can also take to act as a powerful inhibitor of aromatase. So that's really good for cystic acne as well. So one of the ways that you would know you would have this problem is you have heavy periods. You have a problem with your menstrual cycle, and then you just need to consume more uh, cruciferous vegetables and definitely stinging nettle root and some dim would be very powerful as well. All right. There's another situation regarding estrogen dominance, and that has to do with your liver. Your liver is naturally regulating excessive amounts of hormones, especially estrogen. And there are certain things in there that are creating a buffer. And the most powerful remedy for the liver to handle this situation would be milk thistle. Not only will that help normalize estrogen, but it will also increase the production of bile. Now, if you actually even look up milk thistle in relationship to um, lowering PMS symptoms, you'll find a lot of great information. So if you are aware that you have liver problems or maybe a fatty liver or you have hepatitis or you have a gut, I think milk thistle will be a really good remedy to take, not to mention getting on keto and especially intermittent fasting. Next situation is let's say you have PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome. Now, this is a situation where you have too many androgens, but that's being caused by high levels of insulin. You're eating too many carbohydrates. High levels of insulin increase androgens, and that can definitely cause not just acne, but hair loss, a deeper voice, and many other symptoms. Last point is dairy. 
dairy can give you a lot of estrogen. So I would avoid dairy if you have acne. That alone might just clear the whole thing up. So number one, avoid all dairy, especially milk and cheese. Number two, avoid sugar and refined carbohydrates. And the carbohydrates you can have, which you'll be excited about, are cruciferous vegetables and a lot of them, okay? That will help you. All right, number four, take certain herbs based on your situation. So I've already talked about that and you're gonna to have to differentiate maybe which, which set of herbs you may need. All right, number five, zinc. If you're deficient in zinc, which by the way is very, very common, that alone can cause you to have acne. Cod liver oil is another really good remedy, not only because it's loaded with omega-3 fatty acids, which will greatly help the texture of your skin, help regulate if your skin is too oily or too dry, especially, but it also has vitamin A and vitamin D. Vitamin D will help regulate insulin, and vitamin A has been known to actually help acne in a big way. So cod liver oil is a very powerful remedy. And lastly, you want to avoid fluoride. And I'm talking about the fluoride treatments you would get uh, from your dentist. There's a really good one and fairly inexpensive um, one that you can actually just keep in your fridge. It's like a little uh, container. I, I'll put a link down below. And also in your shower. Here's the problem. Tap water is loaded with fluoride. And if it's either exposed to your skin or you're drinking it, it can really mess up your skin. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Hey, before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today.